pH meters can be used to determine whether an acid is a strong acid or a weak acid based on its pH. But what is the difference between a strong acid and a weak one? Well, it comes down to the dissociation of the ions of the acid. See, the one on the left is a strong acid because its ions dissociate completely. The one on the right is a weak acid because its ions do not dissociate completely. This difference in dissociation causes a strong acid at equilibrium to favor products, while a weak acid at equilibrium will favor reactants. To minimize this effect, a buffer could be added. A buffer is an aqueous solution with a highly stable pH. This is how a buffer works. Hydrogen ions are neutralized by the buffer's base, and hydroxide ions are neutralized by the buffer's acid. Here you can see Stephen preparing the meter to obtain the pHs of the buffer solutions. This will calibrate the meter. Here Stephen calibrates for the 7 pH buffer, and now for the 4 pH buffer. Now Stephen can test the solution's pH. He had orange juice, which came out to a pH of 3.52. Steven is now cleaning the probe for storage. Rashik is now preparing the pH probe for obtaining the pH of the two buffer solutions. Rashik calibrates for the pH of the seven buffer solution and now for the four buffer solution. Rashik is now testing the solution, apple juice, for its pH. The pH of apple juice comes out to 3.50. Now that Rashik is done, he cleans the probe of the pH meter and prepares it for storage. Now Patton begins cleaning the probe of the pH meter to begin testing for the pHs of the buffer solutions. With some help from Steven, Patton calibrates for the 7 pH buffer. And now he calibrates for the 4 pH buffer as well. Now the pH meter is calibrated to test for his solution. Patton obtains the pH for deionized water, which comes out to 6.21. Now that Patton is done testing for his solution, he cleans the probe and prepares it for storage. Here we can see Ben cleaning the probe to prepare it to obtain the pHs of the two buffer solutions. Ben obtains the calibration for the 7 pH buffer and now for the 4 pH buffer. Ben tests the pH of tap water, which comes out to be 5.30. Ben is now finished with the pH meter, so he begins to clean it for storage. Remember to always use two decimal places, and thanks for watching.